Having custom and creative emotes that is specifically tailored to your personality is a great way to level up the engagement inside of your live stream. And so today I'm going to be showing you how to create three different types of emotes. The first one is a still image emote, which is basically just a picture of yourself that you're going to cut out and turn into a PNG image an animated emote in which you can take that PNG image and you can animate it and give it some effects, as well as a GIF image where you can actually take a video and you can turn it into like a very small two second clip and you can have a repeat as an emote inside of your live stream. And so I'm gonna show you how you can do all of this utilizing Canva. Now creating emotes can be pretty simple, but only if you do them right. And so keep in mind that whenever you're taking your photos, you're going to be working in a box format. So if your picture is too wide, then some of your picture will get cut off and the emote is not going to look good. So make sure that you are up close to the camera, somewhat similar to where I'm at on mine. And then you want to go ahead and make sure you're inside the frame. I highly recommend having a grid so that way you know exactly where you're going to be and then take your photos. So now that you have all of your photos as well as your videos, what you're going to want to do is head on over to Canva. Now Canva does offer a 30 day free trial for anybody who was signing up for the first time. And so once you set up your account, what you're going to do is click on this icon that says create a design. And then inside of this search bar, you're going to want to type Twitch emote, which will then bring up this preset, which you could then click on and it will automatically have the dimensions needed for it to be compatible with Twitch. So you're just going to come to the left hand side. You're going to click on upload images. You're going to select upload files and then you're going to want to select the photos that you have taken. So we can go ahead and we can actually highlight all of this. And then you're going to come back and you're going to do the same thing for the video that you've taken. So now once all of your photos as well as your videos have been uploaded, which you'll be able to see right here, you got all of the images right here. And then you got the video that I've uploaded, which is right here. So what you can do is you can go ahead and you can select whichever image of your choosing. I'm going to select this one and then you're going to scale it to size. So you're going to hold alt and then you're going to just drag it. If you are on windows, if you are on Mac, I believe it is command, and then you'll be able to also drag it as well. So you'll be able to now see that I am in frame. I can actually do this a little bit bigger. And then I can go ahead and click on the image and there's an option right here at the top that says background remover. I can go ahead and click that and it's going to automatically take everything away. Now, if you want to go ahead and touch this up, which we definitely want to do, we're going to come up to where it says edit, and then we're going to click on magic eraser. Now I love this tool because it's very powerful at what it does. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to select either brush or click. I personally want to select click because it's a lot easier. And then you just going to click on the part that you want to remove. So for me, it's going to be this chair and click erase. And automatically you will see that the chair will be removed once this finish updating. Now it should have actually removed it, but it looks like it didn't do that, but that's okay. What we can do actually is we can go right back to the background remover. We could just click on this and then it does give us an option to erase in the store. We can actually go ahead and do that here as well. So we can just scale that brush down and then you'll see it work in real time. And so now that you're done touching it up, you will now see that we have a complete PNG image right here. So we click back. This is what it looks like. So this will be the complete emote once it is done. And so if it looks good to you, what you're going to do is click right here where it says share. You're going to click download and then you want to make sure you check this box that says transparent background. Make sure that it's a PNG and then click download. And so once you have downloaded the file, you would have successfully created your very first emote that is ready to be exported into Twitch. Now, if you want to be able to animate this, I'm going to show you how you can do that right now. Okay. So to be able to animate your email, the very first thing you want to do is come down to the bottom right here and you want to change this. You will see that it says like five seconds. You want to change that to two seconds. And the reason why is because if the file is too big, 
it's not going to be able to be imported into Twitch because they're going to say that it's too much frames. So two seconds max uh, for the frames. If it still gives you that issue, bring that down to maybe like 1.5. Try it again. If it still gives you the issue, go down to 1.2. It really just depends on how much you got going on inside of your image, but two seconds max is good. So what you're going to do is you're now going to click on the image. Once you got that down to two seconds, you're then going to click on this option that says animate at the top. And then Canva is going to provide you with a bunch of options as to how you're able to animate your emote. So for example, you have this right here. You can do like a rotate. You can do like a, like a neon. And then you can click on these and you can actually play around with it. So you got like a animation right here. You can do, you got a stomp that you can do. Um, you can remove these animations and then you can also do more than one. So you have like a, this is like an add on effect that you can click and then you can do a pulse. Or if you want to have like your own specific animation, then you can click right here where it says create an animation. And then it's going to give you a little video and you'll basically be able to take this and you can drag it around and it will automatically create the animation for you. So for me, what we're going to do is I'm actually going to delete this path and I'm just going to drag mine straight back. If you want to be able to do a straight line, then you're going to hold shift on your keyboard and then you're just going to just drag it back. It's automatically going to create the straight line for you. And then once you have it set to the way how you want it, you can then go ahead and press done and then you can press the play button and it's automatically going to play your video. Now, if you want to give it like a little bit of extra flair, what you can also do, right? You do have these add on effects right down here. So for this particular emote, you can actually do this, which is like a flicker. And then you can come up to the top for the movement style. You can either smooth it out or you can make it like even more steadier. But what we're going to do is I'm going to click smooth and then we're going to adjust the speed just by a little bit, make it a little slower. Click done. And then this is what's going to look like kind of gives it like a, dis like a disappearing effect. And now another thing that you can also do, depending on the type of emote that you have, is you can actually come over to the element section. And let's say you have like an emote, right? That you want to have something else in the background. Maybe you got a mug and maybe you're like, you're wanting to spit out, right? You want to do like a poo effect, right? You can actually come here and you can put in the additional elements. Maybe you have like an emote that you want to have like fire in the background, or maybe, you know, you want to have like a sad emote where there's rain coming down. You can type in all of these effects. So you can do like rain and then you can have an uh, graphic where, you know, there's some animated rain coming down. Maybe you got animated snow, maybe it's cold. So just for demonstration purposes, we're going to go ahead and select this one. And then you can just scale it to size. And then this could be like a whole nother emote that you can have. Um, so really the possibility is endless and you're not bound to just what you have inside of Canva. If you have like a green screen image or if you have like another graphic image that you want to grab or even a graphic video that you want to grab from um, the internet, like Google or something like that, you can always import it inside of Canva and you can utilize that for your emote. And so now once you're ready to have this downloaded, what you're going to do is come up to share. You're going to click on download and then you're going to change this from MP4 and you're going to put that as a GIF image. So you go to look for a GIF video. You're going to select transparent background and then you're going to click download. And so now once that's downloaded, you would have officially created an animated emote that you can import into Twitch. Now, the very last thing I'm going to show you is the GIF video emote that we've done earlier of me dancing. Maybe you actually have a dance that you want to do, or maybe there's something goofy that you've done on stream that you also want to do. I'm going to show you how you can turn that into an emote. Okay, so going back into our blank canvas here, what you're going to want to do is come over to uploads. You want to then select videos, and then you want to select the video that you are looking to import. So this is the video that I created that I'm going to turn into an emote here. And as you can tell, it's just a video of me dancing. And so what we're going to do here is we're first going to go ahead and shrink this down. 
Um, we're going to turn that into roughly around two seconds. Now, once you have it down to the video link that you want, the only thing you're going to do is just click share, download, and then just export it as a GIF video. And once you're done, you basically now have your new emote. So now that you have all of your emotes downloaded, you are now ready to import them over to Twitch. So I'm going to show you how you're able to do that if you're affiliated. Now, if you're not affiliated, then stay tuned because I'm going to show you how you can actually import it into Better TTV so that way you can have your Twitch viewers still be able to utilize the emotes that you created. So the first thing you want to do is head on over to twitch.tv, which by the way, if you guys are not following me on Twitch, make sure you guys go ahead and do so. Find me at twitch.tv forward slash Trey Rashad. I will be streaming the Monster Hunter game that's releasing this Friday. So make sure you guys follow and stay tuned for that. But what you're going to do is come up to your profile. You want to go over to your creator dashboard. You want to then go down over to viewer rewards. You want to go to emotes, click on the open slot. You will then select the upload button, click on your PNG image, and then you will see that it now uploads for Twitch. So you can go ahead and you can put this right here. You can give it whatever name that you choose, and then you can just click on upload and it has now successfully uploaded and you'll be able to see it onto your Twitch page if you are affiliated. Now, if you are not affiliated, there's another way on how you're able to do this. So what you're going to do is head on over to betterttv.com. I'm going to make sure that I have a link down in the description below as well so that you guys can go directly to this page. And then you're going to log in with your Twitch account. So you want to make sure that you authorize it. You want to then come to your particular channel for your emotes. You want to select upload emote, and then you're just going to choose your file. So we're going to go ahead and select this upload. You want to give it the name so we can do this type of name. You want to go ahead and put any type of notes in here. So this is an emote. And then you'll be able to go ahead and select upload emote. Now it might take a little bit of time for this emote to be approved, or you can actually get the emote approved right away, just depending on the emote and depending on uh, better TTV. And so once it's been approved, anybody will be able to utilize and see the emote if they have better TTV activated inside of their browser source. And so there you guys have it. That is how you're able to create three different types of emotes all while using Canva, as well as being able to upload all of those emotes onto Twitch or to better TTV, no matter if you're affiliated or not affiliated. And so if you learn something, make sure you give this video a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe as well as turning on post notifications so that way you do not miss a single video that gets posted out onto this channel. Now, if you're somebody that wants to take your channel to the next level by adding automatic or custom shout outs for when someone raised your channel, make sure you click on this video right here and I'll walk you through step by step on how you're able to do that with Pixel Chat.